Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the garage. Um, I'd shared a post on a uh, fuel system uh, upgrade I did for my 6.5 uh, turbo diesel um, GMC. And uh, I thought it would be easier to make a quick video uh, sharing some more information about it. A bunch of people have pinged me with different questions. And uh, so I'm gonna show you in this video uh, what the filter system is on the truck. Um, this is replacing the stock uh, fuel canister uh, that sits at the back of the motor on a 6.5 GM turbo diesel. This truck happens to be a 98. Um, I also did a cooling system upgrade on this one. Uh, for those of you researching it, uh, Paradox, I believe, is the company that makes the fuel, or sorry, the uh, water system upgrade for balancing and giving better cooling to the rear cylinders. So we've done that, that modification on this truck as well, but I, I built the kit myself. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll show you guys the two different setups. And then um, in the description of this video, I will have the part numbers and links to the parts you would need to make these kits up. So if you hang tight for one sec, I'm just going to flip the camera and I'll show you this, uh, this setup. All right, so here uh, I'm still working on this truck, but um, essentially uh, what I went with was a uh, Baldwin um, fuel filter. Um, some people are asking about, you know, what am I doing for removal of water from the system? Um, actually not doing anything, um, you know, much like the factory uh, filter setup that these have. There is no water uh, removal from those either. Um, so I've just went with a really good quality, uh, easy to replace filter. Um, you can see the filter housing there. Um, I also added a fuel pressure gauge so that I can keep an eye on or check the fuel pressure at startup and just make sure that everything is, is flowing correctly. Um, I've got two 90s coming off the fuel filter. Um, the whole fuel system is running off Dash 6 AN uh, lines. Um, I use a brand called Red Horse Performance, really good quality fittings. Um, but we, we basically come uh, Dash 6 off the filter housing, uh, a Dash 6 into the filter housing, and then you'll see the line that comes for the outlet off the filter housing. Uh, comes down and it goes into, let me show you here, uh, let's see here, so we've got a one-way valve, so the line comes comes out, comes down, goes into a one-way valve, and then goes up to our injection pump, um, so all of that is done with AN lines, and then down at the back of the motor, probably can't see it, yeah, I don't think I can get you guys a good shot of it, but down in the back there um, with the factory fuel line that comes up uh, from under the, the cab of the truck, um, I put a uh, flare nut uh, to AN fitting on that and then a union fitting and then that goes up to the uh, inlet port of the uh, filter setup. So, um, and then I took and did a... Uh, uh, drilled into the, the firewall and put a, um, uh, a nut cert in it so that I could easily screw the housing in and remove it if I needed to. Gives lots of room for clearance of the harness down below. Um, so everything seems to fit really good. The next modification that we did was a uh, cooling system upgrade. So um, I the block that was in this truck before had the rear I think it was the rear number seven or number five cylinder uh, is where we, we developed a crack and ended up hy hydro locking the block. Um, so this one um, just finished the rebuild on this motor, decided I was going to do everything possible to enhance the truck uh, to make it as efficient and sort of as bomb proof as possible. So one of the things I saw was this paradox kit that basically tries to balance the cooling system to provide good flow to the rear cylinders as well or rear rear passages of the block so there's two plates that exist 
at the back of the block. Let's see if we can show them to you here. Um, you can just sort of catch a glimpse of it there. Um, but on those plates, uh, those crossover plates, you can basically, the metal's quite thick, so you can take them off. Um, I drilled them, I tapped them to 3 8 and then did a 3 8 uh, NPT fitting to a dash eight. The Paradox kit uses a dash six line. Um, I kind of went with the rule of thumb that bigger's better. Uh, so I decided to go with dash eight to try to provide as much cooling or as much flow as I could. Um, so basically a dash eight line comes off either side and then comes up to this Y um, right here. So it comes up to the Y. I've got a, a um, union coupler here. And then I took the, there's a little bleeder screw that sits right here normally, uh, allowing you to uh, bleed your, your, the air out of your cooling system. Um, I took, and there was enough meat there that I drilled that out to the 3 8 as well. So 3 8 NPT, put a 90 degree fitting into it, and then that joins to our Y and then goes off to the back of the block. So that is all dash eight. And then I figure that if, you know, when it comes time and I need to bleed air out of the system, um, it's easy enough to crack one of these lines and just vent any air out, you know, until you see a little bit of antifreeze trickle out and then just tighten it back up. So, so that is the two different, um, upgrades that I did. I know I didn't show you, you know, actually building it, but I think, you know, this does a good job. You can see it all in place. Um, and uh, there's a port at the front of this housing here. That one just gets plugged. So that is what it looks like. Um, as far as length of hose and stuff, I'll, I'll do my best to you know, give you guys uh, a guesstimate as lengths, but you know, when you're doing this, um, I just bought um, uh, either, yeah, I bought six foot spools in the dash eight because there's probably no more than, you know, maybe 20 inches of line either side. Um, the fuel line, or sorry, that was dash eight. I bought a, a six foot roll. And then in the dash six, you know, if you buy a, you know, again, a six foot roll, there probably isn't six feet of line there to accomplish all that. But I'll put uh, a list of the parts that I used and uh, it's pretty simple. You might have a different preference for how you want to run your lines or, you know, maybe make it a little bit different in your design, but this is the way I did it for mine. So Thanks for watching and uh, check out the description for the list of parts for both of these setups. Thank you.